Hey, hi, hello everyone! Welcome to this little uh, side video to today's episode of XCOM Faces of the Resistance. As I mentioned in the main episode, uh, we just had a little problem with that error mission and uh, basic, basically what happened. We went to the mission, two turns in the game crashed. After reloading the autosave uh, before I managed to restart the recording, everybody fell from uh, you know cloud heights and made a small crater including civilians, aliens and everybody, so all of my soldiers uh, have been gravely wounded by taking falling damage, uh, Brunze fell next to something that exploded, or on something that exploded, I'm not even sure, and uh, he died a little bit, but it's okay because I'm going to reincarnate him due to the fact that I cannot... Uh, I can't let that thing slide. <laughs> uh, and uh, it would be a very bullshit that that's not, not even on the screen, really. And uh, unfortunately, I was so completely surprised uh, that uh, I forgot to start recording again and the ensuing uh, one million years of fighting the aliens, the all zeroing in on my position because uh, while all the civilians simply died from falling, was not recorded. Sorry for that, I'm sure it would be fun to watch me squirming and squeezing uh, all around the map, trying to run away from the faces and the sectors, mind controlling my people and all the other fun stuff. But I completely d uh, didn't realize I'm not recording, so basically I was talking to myself for 3 hours, or 15. And uh, right now I'm just going to upload uh, the pre-mission footage, because that's what I have, and I also have the 2 minutes into the mission itself, but uh, I, I, I can't look at it. I, I really can't, because I would end up in a cold shower in a fetal position, crying and, you know, cutting myself. So, yeah. Uh, sorry for not uploading that, that our first terror mission, it just so happened to have a bug, and because of that uh, I will be you know, making save uh, backup just in case it happens again. And yeah, that's it now, I'm going to let you watch the pre-mission footage and enjoy the Face of the Resistance episode that has been uh, uploaded alongside. Thanks for listening and uh, sorry again, bye bye. Hey, hi, hello everyone and welcome to another episode of uh, XCOM 2, Face of the Resistance. Right now we see the soldiers in the living quarters just preparing, there is no mission waiting for us. Hey, what, what options do I have in here? Personnel, okay, so that's just our soldier list, but plus the engineers and the scientists, that's nice to know. So they all are here, okay. And... Uh, our first uh, wounded people are starting to come back, that's very good. We will need them. Like, lit literally, most of our squadies are wounded. Okay, but uh, we still have time, there is no missions waiting for us, let's just take up on the bar, Netmara is trying to work over his uh, fear of the aliens, while the rest of the soldiers having, are having a party, we have won the mission. This is great, the morale is so high, and look at Texan getting on with Bradford. Come on, guys, get a room. Ka! Okay, this is freaking awesome. This is the attitude we want to see on the Avenger. We see uh, people getting into the conversation, drinking, the bar is full. This is great after the, the almost near defeat from a few days ago and the very bad moods that were happening. This is a good thing to have. We really have some ups and downs in the campaign, don't we? Okay, so let's uh, try to pillage some supplies. Because we are going to have to build a resistance communication probably, so we the need The outcome them. of this research can only further our advances, Commander. Well, I bet that's why it's called research. So what does it say? Although conceptually, the idea of establishing a radio-based communication system for the purposes of organizing a resistance movement is nothing new, hearkening back to any number of Earth's previous wars, what we hope to accomplish here is still no small task. The aliens are particularly adept at detecting our signals, with a vast array of technology and resources at their disposal. However, working in close collaboration with the uh, Chief Engineer Shen, we've begun to salvage some of the Alliance's own communication equipment from within the Avenger itself. From studying the surviving log files, we've discovered an astounding number of simultaneous communication being distributed throughout their network at any given time. This has proven to be the key to our proposed solution with so much traffic flowing through the alien network it should be relatively easy for us to disguise our own transmissions among theirs. Using the Avenger as our central hub we can establish a communication network linking resistance outposts around the globe. Every new contact we establish should organize and strengthen the movements as a whole. 
Okay, but how does this, this relate to the fact that the, the whole hex come along were impossible? It was just in my head a combat sim simulation. I want to know. Anyway, we can now start working on the resistance comms. It's a facility. Wanna see how it works and how are our magnetic weapons? 30 today, that's not so cool. I need something a little uh, faster. Yeah, I think I'm thinking about getting informed in the uh, resistance radio and then starting thinking about weapons. Of valuable applications stemming from this technology. I'll have a report assembled as soon as the research is complete. That's nice. Okay, so we are making contact with Commander, those guys now. We can now work to establish contact with local resistance groups operating out of regions around the globe. Once we've collected sufficient intel to make contact, we'll need to scan the target region for the operative signal. That makes a lot of sense, and we can also do the same for the western US, but we are interested in the eastern ones first. Okay, the remains of an advent supply convoy sat in disarray along the roadside after an apparent rocket attack. The trucks were still loaded with a variety of parts and supplies with our team was able to secure without drawing much attention. That's uh, very good. Okay, let's make contact with the Eastern US. It's gonna cost us uh, lots of intel, namely 40. After we pay the initial intel Wait, cost 80, to make sorry. contact, we'll have to scan the region for a few days before the local resistance cell comes out of hiding. Once we find them, we'll be up and running in the new region. Good, make contact. And then we can take care of that black side and we will be fine. Commander. Using intel collected so far, we've managed to locate a resistance cell operating out of this region. It'll take us some time to scan for their exact position, though. Well, we, ha we still are uh, having fun with the 50% increase to the uh, scan time. So let's get it done. Finally, finally I will can have my deadly gorillas with shotguns. Okay, but seriously, I like the term guerrilla warfare because uh, it sounds like an oxymoron but, oxymoron, but isn't. So, you know, basically guerrilla warfare is uh, the warrior warfare, if you translate the whole thing to English. And uh, that sounds like it's just uh, complete nonsense, but really isn't. Uh, there is a difference between a warrior and a soldier. It's a very elusive one, but there is. Anyway, let's get shit done. We will have to start training rookies. Come on, let's get uh, me... A little intel, one second. I need some intel on the preferred class of a trooper. Because actually, you know what, uh, I need uh, to have more rangers. So, who wants to be a ranger? Eddie wants to be a ranger. Come on. Yes, that's fine. He will not be going for combat, but he will begin training as our ranger and generally be awesome. What do we have? New combat tactics. We can get the uh, vulture to get more loot drops uh, and uh, stuff, but we don't have supplies for that. Ergo, it is meaningless. We are going to get uh, more of the supplies once we dig out that stuff to build the... Oh, actually, I want it on the other side. Yeah, let's dig out this stuff. Commander, so far I haven't seen anything critical among the alien components left over in this area. If we clean this stuff out, we could probably use this space for a new facility. That's great, and we have our engineer who doesn't have anything to do. Excavation is underway, Commander, but it's going to take some time to get all that stuff cleared out. Don't worry about it, just, you know, swoosh it under the carpet. Don't, nobody's gonna come looking for it. And now we are not only training a soldier, which we will do all the freaking time as long as we have rookies. That way I don't have to actually risk them on a mission. That's, you know, a fucking awesome thing to have. And uh, it's a sort of a co uh, commander's choice thing, when I can choose wh whom I want. So this is great. And uh, anyway, let's start making the contact again. I am sure you will find the results to be as intriguing as I do, Commander. Okay, we have another research. I need to take a drink before the reading again. 
the Avenger serves our purposes adequately in terms of coordinating our communications network, but if we hope, there is always a but, but if we hope to increase our range and reach every possible outlet, we will have to do more. A series of carefully positioned relay towers would suffice. There is a, there is a typo. A series of carefully positioned relay towers would suffice, it's supposed to say. Assuming we can miniaturize the technology we've adapted from the aliens' own communications equipment, it may be difficult to balance the requisite power levels versus the increased chances of detection, but this is our best chance to expand on our capabilities. With the increased coverage, we can expand, expect the efficiency of local resistance operations to improve, strengthening the groups working within range of towers. Cool. Okay, but seriously, we can start working on the hybrid materials to give ourselves more survivability, or on the advent data pad. Our troops recovered one of the advent data pads from the field and there is valuable interstellar within. We can recover the inter, but it will take some time. Or the alien data cage, having recently discovered an alien data cage storing valuable, valuable enemy intelligence, I can uh, dedicate my team's resources to encrypting the files, decrypting the files, and ensuring that we recover the large amount of interstellar uh, stored within. Okay, so basically what it gives us, it gives us more intel. We don't really need it right now, we are uh, uh, ending the monsoon, so instead I'm, instead I'm going to focus to get the... the Advent bodies uh, armor to improve our own armor and make our survival easier. Priority commander, I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. See, maybe if you would be wearing a hat like we are making, you wouldn't be have such a scarred head. What he was saying, commander. That? We can now construct radio relays in any region where we've made contact with the local resistance. Can we now? And how would we do that? Well, I guess we already have a relay here, so that doesn't matter. Nothing on the local comms. What's this? Advent's been quiet lately. I'm guessing we have you to thank for that. Our pleasure, Den Mother. Enjoy it while it lasts. We plan to. Our water purification. Massive system. signal coming from the Advent Network Tower. It's global. Sir, I think you want to see this. I don't want to see this. Fellow citizens. For 20 years, the Advent Coalition has worked tirelessly to repair the ravages and injustices of the old world. Under our stewardship, our cities prosper, our people flourish, and our world heals. And yet, among us, there are still those who would refuse to acknowledge the truth, who are determined to see all that we have achieved Come. those bastards on approach to haven alpha 7 that must end even as i speak to you today you've got incoming on approach the signal's breaking up territories to end this scourge once and for all they're right on top of you losing you avenger raise them again we will ensure your continued safety and well-being throughout this crisis Whoa. Operation, we will overcome these radical elements and usher in another 20 years of peace and prosperity. They don't stand a chance. Commander, we should get a squad ready to deploy. Uh, I don't wanna. What's this? Oh, that this guy. Now he's gonna put on a fedora and say hello, me lady. Commander, we have a squad ready to move on the resistance haven currently under siege by the aliens. Give the word and we'll move out. Well, I guess uh, if we gotta go, we gotta go. Setting course for Mexico. This is too early. I'm not ready. It's just the first month of the game. Okay, I'm going to remove everybody and uh, think about whom I want to take. Because we are about to face our first terror mission in XCOM 2. And just when we started to have fun. Okay, we need to take uh, Jaeger. She's a specialist. Uh, and that means uh, she should be able to help us a lot. 
we have the 8 protocol that may protect us from enemy fire. And uh, who else? We will need a sniper. We will need a ranger. And we will need a grenadier. So basically everybody. Okay. I'm going to be giving you the dodge ability, you are going to need it. And the weapon upgrade uh, is, if I recall correctly, the plus 5... Uh, yeah, it, it, it is a bonus 5% to critical chance that improves further if we are in proximity to the target, so I think this is a perfect upgrade for a shotgun. And uh, I'm going to check if uh, Dan wanted some name for his shotgun. If so, I'm going to give it to him. Or if you haven't uh, and you want to do it now, just let me know in the comments. So, that's that. And what we do? We no longer need a medkit, that's for the specialist to take. But uh, what I do want is a flashbang grenade, so that we can protect ourselves once uh, you know we are in the thick of it. Now we have our sniper. I don't have anything for you, but maybe we get some loot. I'm thinking what do I want to give him something. I want to give him that smoke grenade. Okay. Where's our gunner? There we go. So, Brunza, how do you feel? Do you want to take a flashbang grenade also? Probably so, and uh, a frag grenade. Or maybe we just take two frag grenades. That's gonna be better. I see he's ready for everything. He was just waiting for a terror mission. Okay, that uh, triumphant music is not making me feel any better, trust me. And now we have a gremlin and a medkit on Monica. So, I guess we gotta go, right? Can we send somebody else? Well, I guess not. So, our heroes once again depart. This time they take no rookies with them, so we should be fine. I was dreading this moment, to be honest. I was hoping that it doesn't happen in the first month, so I have the time to, you know, get my troopers promoted. And we are going to save the Resistance Haven Humanity Hills in New Mexico. Well, I guess now that name got a new meaning, because now there is... But there are mountains of human bodies over there.